After an extremely cold April, May has finally warmed up enough that I can finish putting in the cold hardy crops in the main garden. I like to grow my brassicas, mainly broccoli and cauliflower, under this bug netting. We are overrun with cabbage moths here and I've not had any success having them not be completely chewed up by the cabbage moth worms without it. As you can see, the soil is incredibly dry and we haven't had enough rain to even mow yet. So I'm a little limited on what my mulching material is as far as availability, but trying to keep things watered, especially as I put them in. And as soon as I can, I'll be mulching everything just to help retain that moisture. Each year I try to grow two or three new things that I've never done before. This year I'm trying kohlrabi and I'm really excited. I hope it does well. All right, I did wanna do a little bit of a full walkthrough of the garden just to give you a vantage point of what the layout is for this year. So I'm standing on the gate right now, right along the fence to the right, I have Brussels sprouts on the fence line and then marigolds in the front. I also have some kale starts that I'm planning to put in between them. So I think that will give a nice kind of variation in height. These two posts are gonna be where the future greenhouse goes. This little asparagus patch at the end, I put in our first year here, and this is the first ever asparagus that I am harvesting. 
I have a lilac bush and then a long trellis that has snap peas planted along the edge and various lettuces and greens on either side. The fence and the trellis gives a little bit of shade so I'm hoping that these lettuces don't bolt as quickly. And then I also have a bunch of very tightly sewn radishes. There's a little bit of winter rye cover crop left and then this bare bed actually has bush beans sewn in it and next to that is my hard neck garlic. The rest of the length of fence on this side is just the kids growing areas and then the two raised beds over here for the most part are empty. I have a few herbs and marigolds in the inside one otherwise those will get filled with warm season crops. This patch is our first succession of potatoes for the year and they are just starting to come out of the ground. I plan to do two or three successions, just makes it easier for harvest time. So the next batch will go where that tarp is and I have one other spot where I'm planting them. Over here, this corner is kind of a mess, but it's a bunch of blueberry bushes that need some weeding and mulching. And then we have our two rows of strawberries going all the way to the other end. This northwest corner has our rhubarb, which has really come up. Here's a little vantage point from this angle. I have my main bed of onions, multi-sown and mulched with sawdust. And then I have a bed of brassicas, which is mainly cauliflower and cabbages. And then I have my first bed of carrots, which are just starting to germinate. These two raised beds are also mostly empty. There are some chives and marigolds, and I did plant some loofah seeds on the either, either side of the trellis, just to see. Um, I have a lot of empty space along this fence line here that's all gonna be warm weather, flowers and crops. There's a little bit of mint in this container. And then the last few beds on this side are more onions, lettuce, celery, some broccoli under the netting, and that rye cover crop, which will get turned over and planted here in the next month or so. Overall, I'm really happy with how this garden looks for this point in the season. I've just started tackling the other garden, which is mainly just a neglected mess with remnants from last year. So there's a lot of work to be done over there, getting the old tomato trellises down, getting the landscape fabric rotated and getting the soil broken up. But we still got a month or so to get all that done. Just have to work on it a little bit at a time. And before you know it, it'll all be planted. <music> 